Am I the a-hole stories? Family drama. Am I the a-hole for throwing a dirty little family secret in my mom's face? There is a family secret that has been hidden for the last decade. It strained my relationship with my mom significantly. While my dad was still alive, she was having an affair with my uncle. My dad got into an accident and passed away and before the funeral even happened my mom had moved my uncle in, pretending to extended family, that he was there to help us. A couple of weeks after the funeral, everyone else found out, and they are estranged from my mom and uncle now. My mom was pregnant during all this and it was very hard as a 7 year old to accept what was happening. My mom and uncle got married before their daughter was born, and since then, they've had a son. My relationship with my mom and uncle is not great. It has sucked living with them, and seeing their happy ever after play out after what they did. Not even just to my dad, but to me. My mom has always gotten up by butt about my attitude toward her and her husband and I have always tried to ignore it for the most part. But the other night, she and I got into a fight when their daughter asked why I didn't like her parents, and I told her to ask them. My mom said, it was like telling them there was something they should know. I told her she was the one who after her husband's brother, moved him in when he died while having a kid in the house, and then telling the kid to lie about it so the funeral could pass, and she could get money from her in-laws instead of being cut off. I told her she was a disgusting person and I couldn't wait to move out in a few months. Am I the a-hole? Now for the top comments. Not the a-hole. Your mother may want to lie to her daughter, but she can't force you to get on board with it. I'm itching to say, that OP could even explode and say this to the whole family, and still be the not the a-hole after what the mom did. This is so upsetting, what the heck? Not the a-hole. Mom played a dumb game and won her prize in the form of an estranged family. If she's worried about what her new children will think of her, then she shouldn't have acted disreputably in the first place. Yup. Not the a-hole. If mom didn't want her daughter to ask her why, she shouldn't have said anything about it in front of daughter, and she clearly did for daughter to ask that question. Mom could have given reasonable and vague answers that wouldn't give rise to questions. She didn't. That's her problem, not OP's. Not the a-hole. Hamlet set the bar on this, so as long as nobody is poisoned or stabbed, you're cool. Am I the a-hole, or not the a-hole? That is my question. Whether tis nobler to hold my tongue or tell my sister the secret shame? I cannot wait to go to college. OP, thou art not the a-hole. Now for the next story. My dad, 39 mil, and my aunt, 45 female have been having an affair for 4 plus years. They have no idea I, 20 female, know about it, but I caught them together last night. Long time lurker, first time poster. Sorry in advance for length, I have a lot to get off my chest. A little background info cause our family situation is pretty weird. My mom went to college a few hours away from her hometown in 1999 and met my dad. My parents were together very briefly, like a month, and my mom got pregnant with me. She moved back to her hometown after getting pregnant, and my dad followed so he could be involved in my life. My mom died the day after I was born due to childbirth complications, but my dad stayed in her hometown to raise me. He's not close to his family at all, so my mom's family has pretty much become his adoptive family. My maternal grandparents practically see him as a son at this point, and vice versa, and my mom's two sisters see him as a brother, or so they say. Now a little background on my mom's oldest sister, She's been married since before she met my dad in 1999, but she's despised her husband for as long as I can remember. No one in the family likes him either for reasons I won't get into. She always says she'll leave him, but they've been married for 22 years and she still hasn't. She has no children. She and I aren't super close, but we're also not estranged or anything. Background info on my dad, he had a couple long-term girlfriends when I was much younger, but he hasn't had one in at least 10 years. He claims it's because he, likes being single and having fun. Everyone sort of just views him as a womanizer who doesn't want to settle down. He'll occasionally tell me he has a date, but I've never seen any proof of this. I'm extremely close to him, but I don't ask him about his love life, because that would be weird. Outwardly, my aunt and my dad aren't super close. They see each other when we all get together as a family, which is often, but they've never openly hung out one on one or anything like that. When we're all together, they just act like siblings. However, I'm a very intuitive and inquisitive person, and when I was about 13, I started getting suspicious of them. The weirdest thing was there was never any proof or evidence that something was going on between them. 
It was just a gut feeling I had, something in the way they looked at each other and spoke of each other. I started to theorize about the technicalities, wondering how and when they'd be meeting up if they were. I wondered if they were secretly meeting up when I was at school or at my grandparents, when I was younger. I used to spend the night at their house at least four times a month just because I wanted to, and sometimes my dad would ask them to keep me because he had to work late. But, like I said, there was never any proof or evidence, so my theories were no more than occasional passing thoughts. Fast forward to when I was 16. My dad owns a store, and when I first got my license, curiosity took over me and I started driving by his store on the nights he was working late, to see if he was actually there. He always was. But one time my aunt's car was there too. My dad has a pull-out couch in his office. He doesn't know that I know this, the only reason I do is because I looked at it really hard one day and figured it out. It's one of those couches that looks completely normal but turns into a bed, seeing her there confirmed my suspicions. I decided to leave it at that and stop prying, because I already felt weird and nosy enough. The whole situation really haunted me for a while, and it honestly still does. I sobbed all the way home and all night long after confirming my suspicions. I always viewed my dad as someone with amazing morals, and the thought of him having a long-term affair with a married woman, not just any married woman, but my own aunt, really messed with my head. And on top of that, I couldn't tell anyone about it. It's confirmed this has been going on for at least 4 years, but I suspect it's been way, way longer than that. Like I mentioned earlier, my dad hasn't had a girlfriend in over 10 years. I suspect his relationship with my aunt is the reason. There was also an instance in 2018 where my aunt and my dad both, coincidentally, went out of town and came back at the exact same time. My aunt claimed to be in New York visiting a friend, and my dad claimed to be in Nebraska for a business convention, but I think they may have actually taken a trip together. I've been walking on eggshells for the past four years, and living in constant fear that I'll be caught in an awkward situation and or accidentally see something I'm not supposed to something much worse than just a car at his office. And then, my fears finally came true a few hours ago. I'm doing college from home right now, living with my dad. Tonight, we had a miscommunication. He thought I was spending the night at my boyfriend's, but I was really planning to come home. I got home at about midnight, and figured it was safe because my aunt's car wasn't there or anything. I also was under the impression that my dad knew I was coming home, so he wouldn't have her over. But when I walked in, my aunt and my dad were just sitting on the couch watching a movie, all cuddled up. I went in through the game room door, which is the room they were in, so I walked right in on them. Thank god they were only watching a movie, but it was still pretty traumatizing considering they have no idea I've known about their relationship for years now. We all just kind of froze for a second, then my dad said, I didn't know you were coming home, and I said, I told you I was. Then, in a weird freaked out state, I ran back to my car and went back to my boyfriend's. I'm still at my boyfriend's, he knows everything by the way, he's the only one who does, and I haven't heard from my dad since. It's 3am and I've been waiting for a text or a call, but I haven't gotten one, which I think is super weird considering we're close and usually have great communication. I haven't reached out to him either, because I don't know what to say. Obviously, we're inevitably going to have to address this, probably tomorrow, and I'm so freaked out I can't sleep. Do I wait for him to reach out to me first? Or do I text him if he hasn't texted me by morning? Do I tell him I've known the whole time? If he says they were, just hanging out, or it, was a one-time thing, which I feel like he might, do I pretend to believe him? Now for the top advice. What I'm going to say first is to calm down a bit, yes this is serious, but it's not the end of the world. It's regrettable that you had to realize so soon that your father isn't as much of an ethical person as you would like him to be. But sadly parents are just like any other human being. It is what it is. Beyond that, I think you need to finally decide what's important for you, honesty is a value or the issues this coming up would cause in your family. I make no judgment either way. But what I would recommend, regardless of whether you decide to keep their secret or not, is that you're honest with your father, that you tell him that you've suspected slash known for so long, and that it has clearly been affecting you. Maybe you decide this affair is none of your business. But your relationship with him certainly is, and it's important that you open up with him and that you two figure out what this means for your daughter-father relationship. To add to this, OP please realize that you will likely be placed in a position of having to keep their secret for them, or choosing not to. Think about this and decide where you stand before you talk through this with your dad. You have a right to decide your boundaries, and your dad needs to respect them. Your aunt is cheating on her mean husband. That isn't ideal. 
but it is not uncommon. Your dad is sleeping with a married woman. Again, not ideal, not uncommon. It is very common for people who lose their partners, to end up with their siblings. And you do not know the whys of this. Why your aunt doesn't leave her husband. Why they fell in love. At the end of the day, people have complicated lives. Your dad loves you. Talk to him about it so it doesn't feel like a big secret. But to you this feels more important at the moment than it really is. Your dad's love life is separate from you. You do not have to worry about it. All families have weird secrets. This, also is sounds like your aunt has had a really crappy married life and is much better with your dad. Maybe it was out of respect for your late mother at first, but now I think she should just divorce her husband and move in with your dad. While it may be immoral. What worse, that he has been a womanizer or effectively in a monogamous relationship for at least four years, with a woman who you love? Edit, talk with your dad, tell him you have known for four years, that you love him, but you are such of walking on eggshells. That is, he does love your aunt, you will support them, but they need to bring it out of the shadows and actually have a relationship. It may take your aunt a while to finalize the divorce, and you are willing to give them time to do that, but that this isn't healthy. None of us have any confirmation that his mean behind closed doors, but we highly suspect it. That's not the main reason we dislike him though. We don't like him because he's a loser who relies on my aunt financially. He's also just, very odd and sketchy. Obviously, there's a lot more to it, but I'm not going to sit here and write a book about him. Now for the last story. Am I the a-hole for not inviting ex-sister-in-law? Brother-in-law, husband's brother, and sister-in-law's divorce, we'll call them Jim and Kate, was finalized about six months ago. It was not a good or happy divorce, and one initiated by Kate, but it is done. Jim and Kate are civil with each other because they have three children together, two are adults, one is finishing high school. When they were married, I was cordial with Kate. I liked her well enough, and the fact that she lived two states away and I saw her only one to two times per year, made it much easier to be cordial. Though I've known her for almost 20 years. I would not consider us close in any way. We are very different people. On the other hand, my mother-in-law is still pretty close with Kate and they live in the same town. They see each other for lunch, take some classes, yoga, art, together, visit with one another. That's great, but as far as I'm concerned, Kate is no longer part of my and my husband's life, now that the divorce is finalized. She also put Jim through a lot, and we just don't really want to have any continued relationship with her. So, we will be having a small birthday party for my younger son, within COVID guidelines, in late November. I contacted everyone to let them know the date, and to see if they could come. When I called mother-in-law, she said, Oh, while you're on the phone, let me give you Kate's new contact information so you can get a hold of her. I said, Mill, I know you and Kate are still close, but now that the divorce is finalized, I don't really consider her part of my circle anymore. We weren't close to start with, and now that she's no longer married to Jim, there's really no connection for me. I don't plan to invite her to the party or to any other of our family functions. Mother-in-law was silent for a few seconds, but then just changed the subject and we continued our conversation. Mother-in-law isn't really a confrontational person. Now, in reality, Kate is only close with mother-in-law at this point, as far as my husband's family goes. My husband never liked her, I could take or leave her, father-in-law despised her. At this point, I feel their kids, aged 24, 22 and 18, are old enough where it's not necessary to have Kate at these functions. My kids don't really know her all that well as Jim and Kate never lived close to us, and they've only probably seen Kate about 8 to 10 times in their entire lives. Am I the a-hole for excluding Kate? Now for the top comments. Not the a-hole. She's not part of your family anymore. No reason you should invite her. Also. It would be unfair on Jim to have her attend family events, when the divorce wasn't amicable. I agree not the a-hole, but I don't agree that Kate isn't family. She's still the mother of OP's nieces slash nephews, which is family. That doesn't mean she should get an invite or anything, because OP's kids don't really know her that well. Not the a-hole. Reasons to invite Kate, your mill wants her there. Reasons not to invite Kate, nobody else does, with COVID going on. The fewer people at a gathering, the better. Sorry Mill, but the wants of the many outweigh the wants of the few. Additional reasons. Jim would be exposed to a painful experience having his ex-wife there. Jim's family, and she isn't. Now she's just somebody that they used to know. 
not the a-hole. Your husband's mother is the a-hole for putting you on the spot and trying to get you to invite a person she wants to your home. She is the a-hole for trying to inflict a nasty ex on the family. She knows the ex is unliked and unwanted. This is passive-aggressive hostility towards her son. Don't invite her. Don't discuss it with Mill. If she tries to bring it up, I'm afraid that won't be possible as a stock answer you can repeat as necessary. And if you do have to repeat it, then you are too busy to talk and get off the phone. Every single time. Agree, and hope it won't come to that, and I don't think it will, Mill is more clueless than vindictive slash pushy. In her mind, Kate is still family and should be included in family functions. It doesn't really occur to her that others might not want her there, it's really not out of malice, just out of not really thinking it through and realizing how Kate's presence will affect others. That said, my husband is no fan of ex-sister-in-law, so if it comes to it, he will tell his own mother what's what. Does his mother not know that neither of her sons like her? She has to be aware that the divorce was unpleasant. One would think, and while mother-in-law is overall a lovely lady, she can be quite obtuse sometimes. This is one of those times. And that's it for this video guys, if you have thoughts to share, leave a comment below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you like this content. Turn the notification on to get updated on my latest posts. I'll catch you in the next one. Good day everyone.